Will let his mind drift after Cass hung up the phone and foresaw the future when friends all separated and journeyed to distant ports across similar white-capped black seas. And the fists and forearms they brought together those nights of camaraderie and fraternity lowered and unclasped. Will saw his hands guided more by thought than instinct. Fingers spread and passed along the curve of a woman's breast with care and the ink of the unfinished letters to his brethren long dried and under dust on the floor in places he had hid them so they may never be sent. And if they were returned or lost, as his great friends became great local leaders and great users and great spokesmen and lifers and lovers and megalomaniacs and recluses like himself. So aware of their ages and pasts and secretly fearful of the future their children need inherit, he foresaw. But he foresaw nothing of Cass She was absolutely unpredictable and frightened him like no other girl. Alive, she haunted him. Cold nights tried to crawl out between the bars and into the cracks and into bed with him. He was watched.